Hi guys, welcome back. I am so excited because I have this beautiful princess back in the studio after a long summer off. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody who came out and joined my Austin workshop and Super Jam. It was actually one of my favorite of all time. What a great crowd, what great artists, and thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without your love and support, so thank you so much. I'm going to go over a couple of classes that are coming up. On Tuesday, which is August 27th, I will be hosting a super jam courtesy of the peach tree clown alley in atlanta georgia so if you're in the area i would love for you to come out win some prizes have fun uh we can paint together and on tuesday uh, wednesday which is the 28th i am going to be hosting a workshop in columbus georgia so for those of you that want to take a class with me and you're near that southern georgia atlanta alabama area come on down it's going to be a great time in september i'm heading back to holland and i'm so excited for that because i'm going to to be teaching not one not two but five classes in Holland so um, that for more information I'll put it at the end of my video and hopefully you can meet me on the other side I'll be up the river down the river I forget how it goes today Leah and I are going to be demonstrating some of the coolest products I think that we carry silly firm stocks and carries over 5,000 products but these products tend to be my favorite because they're so super cool and you'll see why when we hit the switches and and show you okay so what are they I get tons of emails and tons of calls and on the chats on the computer too everyone is asking for glow in the dark paint so I want to be clear so, so that I can explain it and you buy what you need to buy and make sure that you make your customer happy there's really only one type of glow in the dark paint it and it's going to glow a yellowish greenish now it's usually activated by putting it out in some sort of light for a couple of seconds and that generates it and it's going to go in and out of glow in the dark uh, the other option is something called UV, neon, um, ultraviolet. You've probably heard those before, and I have a bunch of products to show you. And those are available in several different colors. Now, glow-in-the-dark makeup is usually clear. Uh, this is one brand by Maron. It's called the FX. And it's almost like a cream, but it's not a cream-based paint. It just feels that way, a little creamy like mayo. It goes on clear, so it's really cool to add on top of any of your other face paints so that when you turn off the lights, it is going to actually glow in the dark. This is the only product or the only color that's going to do that. Um, you're not going to find colored glow in the dark. Now, there is a product called Clear Glow. I could be saying it wrong. I purchased it maybe four years ago for the Kanye West Glow in the Dark Tour, thinking I was so excited because I was going to glow in the dark with all these colors. Now, it, it is marketed as a product that you can use on the skin. My only uh, stipulation with using it is that it does go on clear, and it's hard to tell where it is on your body. The other thing is it almost is like a tar when it dries, so it's extremely hard to get off. So as kind of like a word of advice, if you're going to be using it on someone's face, I'm going to recommend that you stay away from that and just say to your clients, there's really nothing that glows in the dark besides a clear glow in the dark. It's also made in airbrush form by EBA and Phoenix Inc. So if you want a true glow in the dark, just keep in mind it's only one color and it's not going to stay glow in the dark forever. But back to the other options. So these are neons. These are um, also called uh, UV neon, ultraviolet, they glow under a black light. So any fluorescent lighting is going to cause them to, or the effect of it is that they're going to come alive. Uh, very popular with any type of raves or clubs uh, because most clubs have that type of lighting. Um, they're also very popular inside of haunted houses because most haunted houses have UV lighting to give it that scary effect, which you'll see why when we turn down the light. It is super cool. Um, so they come in cake makeup. This is by Wolf. They come in the same type of um, cream makeup that is a water-based cream by Maron. See, my helper. And they also come in larger cakes. So for those of you that do lots of painting, and they also look really nice under normal light. That's the cool part about these is that they have a dual purpose. They look great under normal light, nice and bright. And then when they're under a black light, they glow, which is even cooler. They're also available in the shadow form. So this is going to be a dry powder. This is a new product by Maron. They're called Blame. And they're these kind of twistable pens. Um, 
So they have this little brush on them, and then you twist the bottom, and the paint starts coming out. So for me, it's like a lip, like a lipstick. I used it on my lips. We'll show you. It was super cool. Um, but there's other colors, so I'm going to be creative with them. I just got them. I test all of our products before I carry them to make sure that I know what to do with them so that when you buy them, you're not disappointed. Um, another area is UV glitter. Um, I'm going to put like the biggest disclaimer on our website about these because people buy them and they're disappointed because they are glitter, but they're not glitter. They don't shine like your normal they're glitter. Like a powder. They are like a powder. Correct. See, she's going to work here. I can put her on the payroll, but then I'll go to jail for child labor laws. But the reason that we sell them is two reasons. One, they're excellent for um, glitter tattoos because they're so opaque that one layer is going to cover your whole glitter tattoo. Two, they're also very popular for anything with UV lighting on with them, uh, any event that you're going to be using UV lighting. So please don't buy these thinking they're going to be glittery. They're not. They're going to feel more like sand but we use them for this purpose exactly and then they uh, the UV colors also come in airbrush ready form and also liquid makeup so if you want to just dip your brush in and start painting so you have so many different options which is really cool uh, so if you want to go into the whole UV craze but at least you know ahead of time UV lighting or UV reactive paints are only going to activate and show up um, as the UV form under fluorescent lighting otherwise they're not they are not glow in the dark I'm sorry to disappoint you so we're gonna hit the light and show you what we mean. Welcome to the Silly Farm Neon Shop. Leah and I just want to show you guys how cool this effect is when you drop the lights and you turn on your black light and then you get these beautiful big teeth of mine. So again, they come in cake form and cream form, palette form. Uh, you also have the uh, powder form glitters, and these cool, super cool pens. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you guys a quick example of a face paint that you can do um, and just use it to embellish a costume and maybe make somebody into something funky that they just want day glow. So I'm really going to only be using a few colors um, but show you the, the neon effect that you get with it so that if someone comes to you and they have something neon on their clothing or UV, then you can just embellish it and have fun. So I am using um, the Fab White. It is pre-mixed. It is a hybrid, so it's going to have a little bit of silicone in it that helps with the sweating so you're not just going to totally sweat it right off. So I'm using a top feed Iwata Revolution. Shake it up. So I just added a little bit inside of my gun and you don't want to fill it all the way up because paint tends to get um, or pa paint builds up in here and you don't want to waste any paint. So only kind of pour in exactly what you need or kind of guesstimate what you need. So my compressor's already on. It's nice and silent. That means that there's no leaks. And I just test it on my wrist first to make sure it's not too, the, the pressure is not too strong, especially if you're going to go onto someone's face. Leah's younger, so you want to definitely make sure that the pressure is not at its highest or, or too high for her. So are you comfortable? So what I like to do before I start applying paint on anybody is if you press down with this gun, you're just going to get air. So I test it out on them. Ask her to close her eyes. Ask her, is this comfortable? Is that comfortable? Yes. It's a, it's a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling. Imagine someone blowing in your face. But the good news is that you can get it all done pretty quickly. So I'm going to start off here. And then I'm just going to start spraying. The closer you get, the stronger the spray. Okay? The farther away you are, then you're going to get more of a haze. So I start off with almost like a triangle in the middle. You doing okay? So I start off with a triangle at the middle. And then I just... I'm going to follow this around her face and then right on her cheekbone, I'm going to just press and fade it in. So I'm going right around her hairline and then right around her cheekbone, bring it down. So now I have this nice kind of hazy effect. Anytime that you want a straight edge with airbrushing, you need to have some sort of straight edge. So this is just one of my pink power stencils. I'm just going to use it to add a little bit of a shield on her. I'm going to hold it here. Close your eyes. Again, I start on my hand. And then I'm going to just gently go right against her nose here. And I can use my baby wipe to clean off any of that. So again, I'm going to just hold it. Start on my hand. Just go right in so that I can get that same 
kind of sh shading right on her nose. I'm going to hold it right against her cheekbone right here. And I'm going to make it sharper against the edge and then pull it back so that I'm gonna get that nice blend right in there. Turn to the other side, the other side, this way. And then you lift it back to get more of that hazed effect. So now I gave her a little bit more of a contouring. So now all I'm going to do is take my, this is a neon magenta fab. So I added a little bit inside of there. All I'm going to do is take my uh, BAM stencil and I'm just going to lay it right from her hairline, again, start there, press, and start bringing it down. And the pink against the white really pops it. So just like that. Bring it down just a little bit more. So you can smile right inside it. Isn't she just so beautiful? So this is a super fast, fast, fast and simple effect that I'm adding. So now I'm just gonna pick up another one of my BAM stencils. This one has the dots right on top of it. Okay, so then I just added a little bit more white inside of my gun and I'm gonna go in between these areas. Just go back over it using this stencil and inside of this area as well. Bringing it right inside of there and underneath here on her nose, bringing it down as well. That I added that quick and simple base, now you can just have fun with it. You can add your glitter on top if you want to. So I have this Mama Clown glitter that is a mixture of a little bit of white fairy dust and a little bit of um, silver. And I just kind of drag my finger over everything right on her head right inside of here especially on those white areas that really um, stand out this is another great use for zombie skin uh, zombie skin is a kind of creamy latex and so I am going to use it as a glue for my gems so I'm just going to dip the end of my brush inside of the zombie skin and then I'll tap it right on the edge of my gem here. And then I'm just going to stick them directly on the skin sporadically. One thing to consider when working with zombie skin, it will dry, especially if you leave the top off because it will dry up and there is no way to reactivate it. So I'll put just one right in the middle. Make sure that's in the middle of her eyes. Add a few more gems just to balance that out. So I have some neons here. This is a neon violet, neon pink mixture. So I'm going to be picking up the neon violet with my paintbrush. And I don't like to airbrush right over the eye or if I want something that's gonna be a little bit more precise over the eye, I paint it. So I'm just going to start in the corner of her eye and I'll come out just like that on a slant, kind of drag blend it back in. And the same thing goes. And a brush like this really does help because it has that nice chisel point on it. And I'll pick up a little bit of pink. Drag blend it in from this edge. So we're really gonna make her pop. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of white, kind of enhancing this line right here. And I'll go over her eyebrow to kind of shape it out. Okay, look at me. Well, like I said, this is a super fast, super easy way to embellish a costume, especially if they already have um, anything that's already UV on them. Hope you guys have fun now that you know what you're doing with your UV neon glow-in-the-dark paints. Thank you, Leah, for being my model. And make sure if you have Halloween questions, just give us a call. That's what we're here for. Everyone at Silly Farm is trained to help you. So I want to say thank you and happy Halloween.